I wish there were more people like you in the world. I want you to have this. I hope it helps keep you safe. No, thank you. Good hunting! and the resplendence of the promise of our division in the times to come. Give your bodies to Adam, my friend. Release yourself to his power. Hey there, stranger. I'm Manya. The old coot wandering around here is my husband, Nathan. If there's anything we can help you with, ask me. Don't ask Nathan. He'll just blabber at you about the damned Enclave all day. Send Nathan home if you see him.
it's locked for a reason, don't... Hey, Pearl, what do you need? Anything for you, friend. Come back soon. You're still standing here, and I can't think why. You know where you're from. Shall know an end to pain, and shall know Atom in his glory. I urge you, my friends, come, drink. So, what'll it be? Enjoy. With me and pray. Glorious Atom, I give unto you these people. Yeah, what is it? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh! Did you find any quantum? Well, the DC facility was like their main factory just before the bombs fell. All the research they did was performed there. It was the only facility to ever produce quantum. They were in a test market mode, and they would have expanded production if the drink caught on. Too bad they didn't. Otherwise, quantum would be as plentiful as regular Nuka-Cola. You've done it! My machine is finally full! Well, like I promised, here's the schematic for the Nuka Grenade. You've sure earned it! If you find any more bottles, be sure and bring them by. I'll be glad to keep paying for them.
tamper with that, and we're going to have a problem. Oh, good! You came back to visit! Well, to the east there are some nasty raiders in Evergreen Mills. I'd stay away from there if I were you. Luckily, we're kind of hidden here under the old highway, so no one bothers us. Well, the stuff is so rare, I only know one. It's called Mississippi Quantum Pie. It's delicious! If you want me to make you one, I can. Just bring me some flour, vodka, and a Nuka-Cola Quantum. I can whip it up in no time. Oh no, he's such a cutie pie. He never bothers me. Bye-bye now.
to Vault 112, resident. According to sensors, you have arrived 202.3 years behind schedule. Please redress in your Vault Tech issued Vault suit before proceeding. If you have misplaced your suit, I am authorized to distribute a new one. Once dressed, please proceed down the stairs to the main floor so that you may enter your assigned Tranquility Lounger. Tranquility Lounger.
closer.
you probably ought to go talk to Betty, kiddo. Don't want to keep her waiting. She's out there on the playground, probably looking for you. Run along now. What can I do for you, sport? <laughs> Such a kidder. You're on Tranquility Lane, of course. Where else would you be? Nope. Afraid not. Don't you worry about it, though. You'll find him. Another perfect Saturday afternoon. Make sure you enjoy it, sport. You mean besides how wonderful it is to live here? Everyone's very friendly, even old lady Dithers, though she's lost most of her marbles. Sounds like you've been spending too much time with your nose in those darned comic books, sport. Have a great day. You? You don't belong here. You're not supposed to be here. It's not real. None of it. It needs to end. The suffering must end. We're not really here. We're not really talking. It's all made up. Make believe. We're sleeping, dreaming. The dream became a nightmare. It has to end. It just has to. But we're not in charge. He is. And he doesn't want us to wake up. He calls himself Betty now, but he's still the same. He can put on a new face all he likes, but underneath he's still evil. Braun. Bastard thinks because he helped create this place he's God here. But I know he still uses the fail-safe terminal. I know it. don't know. Can't sleep sometimes. Hear voices. My own skin doesn't feel right. None of this is right. You've got to believe me. You've got to find that fail-safe. It's in the abandoned house. He doesn't want us going in there because he's afraid we might find it. It's the only terminal to the outside. The only way to shut the whole thing down. You've got to find it. Good day. Henderson Estate is in tip top shape, young master. Have a wonderful day. looking at the new Robco catalog. Some impressive things they're doing these days. Bye. Good day to you. I don't think so, but then I haven't really been looking for him. Sorry. I suppose I hadn't really noticed. I like it well enough, I suppose. Mabel is good company most of the time, and, 
Well, the other neighbors are mostly very nice. Sorry, kiddo, but I'm not in the mood for jokes. Have a great day. Good day. Good day to you. No, I haven't, but when I do, I'll tell him you're looking for him. Well, of course it is. What a silly thing to say. What else would it be? Well, there's certainly never a dull moment. I think it's like any other street, really. Always something to see and always something to talk about. Computer what now? Why don't you go find Timmy and have a nice game of catch? Bye-bye! Hiya, kiddo. What's the good word? Can't say that I have, kiddo. Don't worry. I'm sure he'll turn up. Is that so? Well, you ought to tell that to my big toe, kiddo. Hurts like the dickens since I stubbed it earlier today. Feels pretty real to me. Have a great day! Good day to you. He disappeared on you, huh? Don't worry, I'm sure you'll find him soon. Sure, sport, whatever you say. <laughs> Take care now. Good day. Hi there, I'm Timmy. Wanna play? Your dad? Nope, I haven't. Did he get lost? What? You're weird. It's okay, I guess. I don't really have nobody to play with, except for Betty, and she's kind of, well, she's mean. See you later. Good day to you. No, sweetie, I have it. I'm sure he'll come looking for you before long, though. What? Oh, sweetie, maybe you should just run along and play. Have a great day. Well, hi there. Hello. play with. What good luck I have lately. I was just starting to get bored. Oh, we're going to have so much fun. Gee, I don't know. What's he like? <laughs> That's your daddy? Oh, we're going to have so much fun. This is going to be the best game ever! I knew 
you would. It's a really simple game. All you have to do is make Timmy Newsbum cry. No, Timmy's the one who's crazy. You'll see. Make him cry, and then come tell me. Maybe we can talk some more then. You're supposed to be making Timmy cry. You can do it, I know you can. When you win the game, maybe we can talk some more. Maybe later. First, I want to see how you get along with Timmy. Don't you worry about that. You just go have fun with Timmy. Run along now. Well, hi there. Timmy? Oh, he's a good boy. George and I are so proud of him. I don't care what Mabel says. I don't think military school would do him any good at all. I have half a mind to give her that brochure back and tell her just what she can do with it. Hiya. Hi, wanna play? What? No, she didn't. Did she? I don't like her. She's creepy. And she laughs at stuff that isn't funny. What? Did I do something bad? No, no! Not my mommy and daddy, no! <laughs> <laughs> no, no! Yay! I knew you could do it! Perhaps not the most inventive approach, but persuasion can be quite powerful. Well done. And for winning the game, you get a prize. You get to ask one question and receive an honest answer. Tranquility Lane is a simulation, a reality designed to play home to the denizens of Vault 112. It was my last and greatest project. I'm quite grateful that I was placed directly in charge of it. There have been unexpected benefits to living here. Uh-uh-uh, that's another question. And you've already had your answer for now. If you want more, you'll have to prove you're worth my time. Continue to amuse me, and I may answer more questions. Pay a visit to the Rockwells. They're very happily married. And I'd like you to change that. Put an end to their marriage, and we'll talk. Rationalize it any way you'd like. If you succeed, we'll continue our discussion. Good day. Well, hi there.
What? Now that's a ridiculous thing to say. You kids need to find some different games to play. Your dad? No, I haven't. I'm sure he's around here somewhere. Oh, you're such a kidder. Our marriage? Oh, goodness, what kind of a question is that? Mabel didn't put you up to this, did she? What a silly thing to ask about. It's that Martha Simpson, isn't it? I knew it! That's it! I've had enough of Roger's lies and bullshit! This has to end. this. I just don't understand. Why would Roger do such a thing? It doesn't make sense. So, you have achieved your goal. I was hoping for something a bit more dramatic, but persuasion appears to be your strong suit. And at least you are cooperative, unlike your father. I was most disappointed when he refused to participate, yet still expected something from me. You have amused me thus far, but I still don't think you're quite in a position to be demanding anything. Still, I suppose you've earned the right to some further answers. What would you ask of me? He's here, and he is unharmed. He has merely been rendered unable to bother me. Oh dear, now you don't even believe me. How disappointing. I assure you, James and I talked at length before you arrived. Now let's continue before I grow bored with you. Oh, come now, show some enthusiasm! There are fewer rules this time. I'd like to see just what you're capable of. I'd like you to kill Mabel Henderson. Please put some effort into it. Do something creative. Beating her to death won't impress me. Still, you resist me when you know that I have the answers you seek. Well, I am not going to beg you. You know what I ask of you, and so you know what you must do to retain my favor. Have you met Doc the Dog? He's another new arrival, much like yourself. He might seem a bit <laughs> familiar to you, huh? If you insist on an answer, then you may better know me as Dr. Stanislaus Braun. I've chosen a different appearance for myself here, in my own little playground. The details of this place are far beyond your comprehension, I'm sure. Be content with what you need to know. This is a simulation, and I am in total control. If you wish to see the vault again, you'll do as I say. You know that I am Dr. Braun. Anything else is irrelevant. Perhaps you should be focusing your energy on what I've asked of you.
I have told you what I want from. Are you? Yes, yes. How very noble of you. You'll change your mind eventually.
Good day. I have told you. Are you through? Excellent. I look forward to seeing what you come up with. Remember, creativity is key. Well, hi there. Well, hi there. Good day to you. Mabel's a good friend to me. She's always interested in what's going on with my life, which is more than I can say for some people. I'll sometimes go over to her house and chat while she's baking. She really loves to bake, uses that oven all the time. Have a great day. Hello! Hey there, Sport, how's it going? that again.
real. Remember what I told you. The failsafe. You've got to find it. The abandoned house. Keeps that one to himself, he does. That's where it is. That's why he doesn't want us in there. Remember what I told you. Did you look? Did you really look? You can't just look with your eyes, you know. You think he really looks like that little girl? He hides things, confuses them. You have to find a way to find it. Why would Roger do such a thing? It doesn't make sense. Good day to you. You what? I Mabel Henderson needs to die, but in a creative, fun sort of way. I'm sure you'll think of something.
good day. Put that down, will you? what you've done! You've triggered the failsafe! Ruined everything! The subjects will die and I'll be stuck here in this hell alone! You ruined everything! Everything! It is not over! It is not over until I say so! Do you understand me? I, I, I. I just want things to go back the way they were! The Garden of Eden Creation Kit. It was for terraforming. For restoring the world after a nuclear disaster. Unstable technology. And ultimately boring. Why remake the old reality when instead you could create any reality you choose? <laughs> Didn't you figure it out, huh? The dog. So loyal. So trusting. So annoying. I simply made him what he always was. You know enough. You know this was my perfect simulation. My exquisite creation. And now you've ruined it forever. Why do you torment me? You know who I am. You know that I am really Dr. Braun. That I created this place. And now I'm trapped here. It's all your fault. Isn't it obvious? You've run the failsafe, disrupted everything! I have no power over you. There's the door. Go. Yes, I'm sure he's fine. No doubt when you leave the simulation, he'll be waiting for you. But there's no one waiting for me. Run along now! Son, you've saved me. I was afraid I'd be trapped in there forever. It's so good to see you, but... but what are you doing here? Well, I didn't expect Dr. Braun to be alive and insane. I thought I'd just find notes or holotapes. I needed information about Braun and his work on the Gek. I did indeed. Braun's work, the Gek, was designed to readapt environments for living after a nuclear war. It's not entirely stable, but
but I'm sure the components of that technology are just what we need, what we've been missing all this time. I need to return to Rivet City. Once Madison knows about the Gek, I can get her to see that it really will work. I can't do this on my own. Madison, Dr. Lee has a team of scientists working at Rivet City. They'll have to help. The facility hasn't been used in years. There'll be enough work for a good number of people, and it will take us a while. The sooner I get to Rivet City, the sooner Madison and I can get to work. Yes, what about you? Why in fact are you outside the vault at all? I don't even want to know how you got out. As much as I appreciate your help, you were supposed to stay there, to make a life for yourself there, not out here. You were supposed to stay put. You could have had a good life in the vault. But I suppose it's too late to go back now, isn't it? The Overseer would likely have a shot on sight. Well then, you'll just have to come with me to Rivet City. You've certainly proven yourself capable enough. That's my boy. Let's hurry. Now that I know what we need, I want to get back to work as soon as possible. It started as an idea, really. Remember the Bible passage your mother loves so much? Free, clean water for everyone. What a difference it could make in the lives of everyone here in the Wastes. Over time, that idea took the form of a purifier. Not like the one in the vault, though. This one was gigantic, capable of purifying millions of gallons of water at once. We used the old Jefferson Memorial for the location, right on DC's tidal basin. Someday soon, I hope you'll see it work. In the year before you were born, things became difficult. There had always been something of a mutant problem in the city, but it became worse. They attacked more frequently and more aggressively. Support for the project eroded as time went on, when we couldn't produce any significant results. Progress came to a halt, and then you were born. Your mother and I had talked about what to do when that time came, but then I... We lost her, and I had to make a decision. I chose to leave. From what I understand, things happened quickly after that. It became too dangerous for the others to stay, and so the project was abandoned. Dr. Lee and her team left for what became Rivet City, and Project Purity has sat waiting ever since. I understand that you have reason to question a good many things I've told you over the years. But your mother... I've never lied to you about what happened. Not once. She died giving birth to you. It was a difficult time. She was so eager to meet you, to make a place for you in the world. If nothing else, please believe that she loved you very much. Of course, son. What's on your mind? I wanted you to be safe. I didn't want this for you. A life out here in this godforsaken war zone. I couldn't tell you what I was doing because I didn't want you following me. A plan which clearly was not as successful as I imagined it would be. What? No, no, of course not. I just... This is important work. Clean water can change the lives of so many thousands of people. It's worth the risk to help them. I can understand that you're angry. You have a right to be. Perhaps the choice I made wasn't the right one. At the time, I thought I was doing what was best for you. So am I, son. While this isn't what I had in mind, it's good to have you with me. Be careful, my son. I'm sorry, I'm not the to 
what you've done! You've triggered the failsafe! Ruined everything! You've taken them all from me! You've left me with nothing! It's not fair! Nobody to play with ever again! Do you realize what you... You... You? No! I! I am the creator of this world! He is so lost. So... all alone. <laughs> Didn't you... F but... There's... Son, you've saved me.
Here to acquire a new mantle of metal or mesh? If the clothes make the man, then here are the means to remake yourself. Pleasure doing. Looking to trade? Have a look. See if anything calls out to you. If the clothes make the man, then here are the means to remake yourself. Give me a shout if you need anything else. 